Hey, good morning. It's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about weight and mass, and we're going to take some notes in your journal. And then there is a scavenger hunt, kind of like the one you did yesterday in the length assignment. Today, instead of just having to take notes on your paper like we did yesterday, you can, if you can have a printer, you can print this out. I've attached it in your assignment. If you can print this out, then you can just fill in the blanks. If not, don't worry about it. Just take the notes as you go along with me. Pause when you need to. That's the best thing about this is I can't go too fast for you. So just do your best. Pause when you need to. Let me know if you need any help. All right, let's get your math journal and let's get started. Okay, open up your math journal to our table of contents. Put today's date, 3-24-20. And our title or topic for today is going to be weight and mass. And then put whatever your next page is. If you are following along with me on your little paper, go ahead and grab it now. You can close your math journal and you can just glue this in later. If you don't have this, just um, follow along as we go. Write it in your math journal. You won't have to worry about gluing it in later because yours will already be there. All right, weight and mass. Weight is how heavy or light something is. And I think I am going to change pens so that you can see this a little better. I'll switch to red here. Okay, just like yesterday when we talked about the customary, what we use in America, and the metric, what they use in science and the rest of the world. They have that for length. They also have that for weight and mass. We say weight when we use the customary system. Okay, uh, mass, you know this definition already from science. Mass is the amount of matter that something contains. We say mass when we use the metric system. All right, we're gonna start with customary and again, we're gonna go from small to big. Small units, all the way down to big units. All right, here we go. Customary, the smallest unit we're going to use in customary uh, weight measurement is an ounce. The abbreviation for ounce is OZ. Oops, almost made that a seven. That's not helpful. An ounce is about the weight of one slice of bread. If you have a loaf of bread and you go count and it tells you how many uh, slices or how many servings are in the uh, in your loaf, if you look at how many ounces are in it, it'll usually be the same. Okay, moving up, the next unit of measure in customary for weight is a pound. And remember that the abbreviation for pound is LB and I usually write it in cursive so that it doesn't look like 16. A pound is about the weight of a football. One pound equals 16 ounces. People are measured using pounds. If you're talking about things you would use uh, pounds to measure, people would be one of those. If someone asks you how much you weigh, you usually don't tell them in ounces, you'll tell them in pounds. Okay, and we measure pounds using a scale. Just like you step on at the doctor's office or you might have in your bathroom. Okay, the last one, the really big weight unit for customary is a ton. And the abbreviation for ton, I ran out of room, is T, a capital T. 
A ton is about as heavy as a small car. All right, one ton equals 2,000 pounds. Uh, one ton also equals, ooh, where'd it go? 32,000 ounces. It's pretty big. So this would be used to measure um, like a big rig, like an 18 wheeler or something that, or a train, something huge is what you would use to measure. You would use tons to measure. All right, we're gonna switch over now to mass. The metric system, we use mass, okay? The smallest unit in the metric system is a milligram. Okay, a milligram is about as heavy as one grain of salt. So one of these. Is a milligram. It's a teeny tiny unit of measure. Oh, I forgot to tell you the abbreviation for milligram, but you might be able to have figured it out from our length yes lesson yesterday. It's going to kind of have the same pattern. Milligram, like millimeter yesterday, was mm. Milligram is mg. Okay. When we're moving on up to the next biggest, the next biggest one that we're going to talk about is a gram. A gram is about as heavy as a dollar bill. You can also think about the unit blocks in our uh, base 10 blocks, the, the ones or the hundredths, those are about a gram each. And one gram equals 1,000 milligrams. And I wonder if you remember what we used to measure mass, to measure grams. It's three words, do you remember? It's a triple beam balance. I bet you got it. Triple beam balance, and I'm gonna write that again because it was kind of small on those lines and I wanna make sure you can see it. Okay, the biggest unit we're gonna talk about for mass for uh, in the metric system is a kilogram, just like we talked about a kilometer, kilometer, kilogram, that's today. All right, a kilogram the abbreviation is kg. It's about as heavy as a pineapple. And if you're thinking about kilograms and pounds, a kilogram is a little over two pounds. One kilogram equals 1,000 grams. One kilogram equals one million milligrams. Okay. So on your assignment today, I'm not gonna have you actually measuring anything because most of us don't have a triple beam balance at home. I know I don't. You're just gonna go around your house and find some things that have an estimated mass or weight of whatever the uh, worksheet calls for. Just do your best. I wanna see what you think and let me know if you need any help and I will see you tomorrow.